Hi, I'm Igor Smirnov, International Grandmaster and Chess Coach. Welcome to this new lesson called Misguided Techniques. When talking about chess lectures, we are usually told what to do. You will find a lot of my lessons making such recommendations about different aspects of chess, attack, position, or play, and the list goes on. However, this lesson is completely the opposite. Here, I'm going to tell you what you should not do. Unfortunately, chess players fall into the trap of using ineffective techniques and worse, the methods that are harmful for their progress. In this lesson, I'd like to warn you against them. This will save you from spending time on futile efforts, this will remove the obstacles from your way to chess success, and this will explain why your progress is not as speedy as it should be. Indeed, knowing these useless and harmful habits and making sure you do not fall for them is important. Ok, without further ado, let's have a look. And here is the first one. Spending so much time solving tactical puzzles and exercises. Nowadays a lot of chess players do it. They solve tactical drills day in and day out. Heck, you'll even find some books that recommend it as the easiest way to get to expert level. But then let me ask you one question. If everybody solves tactical puzzles, then why tactical mistakes still happen so often in chess tournaments? Why do those players keep making tactical oversights constantly? Doesn't it show that something is wrong with their training methods? Actually, it's easy to explain why this happens. You see, if you do the same thing over and over again, you'll get the same result constantly. And the end result, your progress will be quite abysmal. It's like a caged squirrel running in a wheel. It's time consuming, it's tiring, but the squirrel is not make any progress. True enough, solving tactical exercises makes some sense. However, this is of secondary priority and should not eat too much time. There are other training methods which are much more effective when it comes to honing tactical skills. I know what some of you are thinking. If you memorize a lot of typical tactical patterns, they should become natural for you and you will start using them automatically. Unfortunately, this is a delusion that was spread by many chess authors. It simply does not work in this way. Such a mechanical approach is rather suitable for a computer, not for a human. Instead, we should focus on developing our independent thinking skills. After all, chess is a thinking game, not of who memorized the most. Similarly, attempting to memorize all opening lines would be a quite dull and inefficient method for getting better in an opening stage. It's frowned upon. Think about the players whose combinations you study. Anderson, Morphy, Aluhain, they obviously did not have access to massive databases of tactical positions or websites with tactical puzzles. But they were able to play brilliant combinations, and they do so quite often. They did it with the help of their deep understanding and good thinking skills. Nowadays, we study thousands of typical tactical positions, but use tactics very seldom in our own games. Doesn't it seem like there is something wrong here? Next on the list, an analysis of Grandmaster's games. We have seen a lot of DVDs, video lessons on YouTube and other places on the net where a strong player analyzes games between chess heavyweights like Aronian, Kramnik and the rest of the gang. Now let me show you an interesting and a very sudden clip. Cool, isn't it? That fella is lifting 300 kilograms. There is no doubt about his phenomenal strength. But let me ask you one question. Does watching this video clip help you lift weights like he does? Did it in any way help you get better physically? Of course not. In the same way, watching video analysis of Grandmaster's games will not be of much aid to your chess progress. Ok, you'll see that this Grandmaster can play powerful moves. Impressive indeed. 
but it does not help you to do the same. They show you what they do, but they don't elaborate how they do it. They do not show you how you can find the moves like they do, calculate with the same precision or visualize with the same clarity. The folks who upload such video analyses get more likes, more subscribers to their channel and rise in popularity. They love doing such videos as it's an easy work for them. But what do you get out of it? Almost nothing. In conclusion, this is more for entertainment than improvement. You get to see a breathtaking game, maybe it inspires you for your next game, but nothing more. Day in and day out, books are published about some new approach or new theory about chess. A lot of my students ask me to clarify a certain such theory. I will not spill out names, I certainly don't want to offend others. But let me tell you this, most of the time this new theory about chess turns out to be completely ridiculous. Most often such theories are too unnatural and far too complex to be applied in a real game. So what is the point of knowing such complex theories when you only have few minutes for every move? I want you to ask yourself these three questions when reading some clever new theory about the real game. What is the logic behind this theory? How was this system created? How will you apply it at your every move and every game? Remember, simple is better than complex. If something is too complicated, it does not mean that it's very clever. Quite the contrary, most probably it's something completely wrong. Take whatever you read with a grain of salt. Don't blindly believe all chess books and all those new theories. Unfortunately, some of them can only confuse you. Once again, simple is better than complex. And that brings us to the next part. Which is better? Knowing a thousand rules about chess or knowing only five ones? Some of you might pick the first. After all, knowing more sounds a lot more favorable. But this is not the case. Chess is not a quiz show, it's a game of skill. It's a game where the one who applies what he learns usually wins the game. Think about this, will you be able to apply a thousand rules when you play a real game? Heck, I'm sure you'll have a hard time remembering them, let alone apply them in practice. Five simple, logical and applicable rules will trump a thousand confusing ones any day. Less is better than more. There is no need to collect tons of chess books and try to learn thousands of rules. This will rather confuse you than help you. Ok, those are just some of the misguided techniques and illusions that improving chess players fall for. If you notice some of these mistakes in your chess training, then maybe it's about time you correct it. Stop wasting time on ineffective methods. The time you free up can be used in training methods that deliver solid and positive results. Thanks for watching, have a good day, goodbye.